Welcome back to another episode of the Extreme One Chunk Iron Man. On this account I complete everything in a chunk before rolling a random new chunk around me. The remaining items before I can roll my first chunk are the Dark Claw and Dark Totem from Scotizo, Seractus Pet and Jar and a Draconic Visage and today I will show you one of my biggest grinds I've ever completed in RuneScape. One of the items I need left in this chunk is the Dark Totem drop. And it isn't exactly the most easy item to obtain because it's locked behind the Scotizo boss. You need 3 separate pieces to make a dark totem and with this you can kill the boss which drops a dark totem. Huh. So I have looked into several monsters in his starting chunk and hill giants were the perfect target. They have a great drop rate for totem pieces and their general drop table is really good. So I killed a lot of them. 100,000 actually. And in this video I will show you the loot, Scotizo kills and all of the other results. Join me. First level of the video, level 4 Slayer. The Slayer Lamping goal continues. I'm going to try and get level 15. One of the main reasons I'm killing hill giants is the totem pieces for Scotizo. And we just got 2 totem pieces in one trip. Always beautiful to see. And there's a very big level incoming, 98 strength. We are one level away from the first 99 on this account. And the combat stats are looking amazing so far. And there's level 74 prayer, which doesn't unlock anything right now, but it is the level required for rigor. So we only need three more levels and then we have all the levels required for all the prayers in the prayer book. Awesome, these big bones are actually really adding up. Will this Bob the Cat random finally give me fishing XP? I've had magic like 10 times in a row. Yes, there we go. 26 fishing from only the random event. My goal I guess is level 30. I think that will look good. But I don't really need fishing for anything. But these free levels are uh, pretty nice. Professional YouTuber missing levels. Just got 94 hit points. If I do max my melee stats in this chunk, I should get 99 hit points as well, but these levels take forever to get. Quick little uh, bank update here, we just got 500 giant keys and 10 totems in a bank right now. I'm going to uh, update you guys with all these cool items once in a while. Uh, I, I'm going to get a lot of these keys, but mostly I'm here for the totems. Pretty special moment here, I'm one hit away from the first 99 on the extreme one chunk account mostly from killing well catacomb monsters and temple spiders i guess really cool there it is 99 strength beautiful one out of many 99s on this account i decided to do a little uh, gathering in the catacombs always fun to get some friends from the stream together and uh, yeah, I, I guess the next uh, 99 I'm going to work on is going to be attack. 99 attack and 99 strength is going to be amazing for the Seragnus grind. So I just messed around at Iron Dragons for a few hours and I realized I got an Adamant Square Shield, which is actually an item I have to get in this chunk and I didn't realize it. The Adamant Square Shield is my best in slot shield for range training, simply because it doesn't give me any negative uh, range attack. And as you can see, if I equip both the items, I do not get any negative range attack. So, pretty cool little upgrade that I didn't think about. And there's another beautiful prayer level, 75 prayer. Let's see what that unlocks. Members can now wield the Elysian Spirit Shield. That thing looks absolutely beautiful. Another cool uh, bank milestone, 400 Ancient Shards. Over 100,000 Arclight Charges right there. Cool. First attack level of many 91. Road to 99 attack starts now. And we are well over halfway of the hill giant grind. The road to 100,000 kills continues. It has been a little bit since I've had one of these uh, curve boners. I'm actually a little dry on these but um, yeah they look pretty cool on the ground. One in a 5,000 drop. Wow I go dry and then we just get another one in the same day. Two uh, curve bones in the same day. Cool. I like to collect these. Another lamping milestone. Six slayer. Levels are starting to uh, get a bit fast at this point. Alright. 2.3% ladies and gentlemen. 92 attack. The halfway mark to 99. Love to see it. Not the biggest thing to go dry on. It's fine. But 
Just got another curve boner. Number 11 in the bank. 11 curve bones in the bank right now. We'll add that to the collection. Stream wanted me to do a uh, random Scotizo kill. So I did. You guys can also see the starting KC uh, before we do all the totems from Hill Giants. Which is 64 kill count and we got nothing. We have two pets um, and nothing else. So we need the Dark Claw and the Dark Totem from Scotizo to uh, complete it in this chunk. So lots of drops to work on. 93 attack. Alright, we're getting a lot of curved bones lately. I do record these every time because it is just beautiful on the ground. It looks so good. 1 in 5k. Decided to do an AFK session at Sand Crabs. This is my go-to AFK spot when I'm editing. And uh, we just got a level 94 attack. Since these levels are going up so fast, I think it's a good time to talk about this. I've seen a lot of people uh, comment or mention that they think that I'm going to fly through literally all of Zaya once I get out of this chunk. And yeah, some chunks are going to be really fast because there's nothing. But this chunk is like... 80 or 90 percent just melee like killing things killing bosses collecting totems um, a lot of rng drops so once i get out of this chunk i'm going to get a lot of uh, skilling challenges and half of my skills are level one and i have to probably get like instantly to level like 80 or 99 so it might look that way because i'm spending so much time in this one chunk but we are going to get a lot of big skilling challenges all around me so yeah, don't worry about that because um, yeah, there's a lot of tough skilling challenges after this. Zaya has a lot of uh, content. And also we aren't locked to Zaya. We can get off Zaya by rolling the boat three chunks east of me. I can roll to uh, Port Sarim. So I've had that question a few times as well. And here's another little bank update for you guys. 600 giant keys and 20 dark totems and we're also over 200 long bones so the stacks are growing nicely there's another attack level missed it but 95 attack we are doing very good on this hill giant grind and i've kind of calculated what attack level i should expect from this and i think i'm going to end up getting 97 or 98 attack from finishing 100,000 hill giants Beautiful prayer level 77 prayer, which is the level for Agri. If I had it, um, I now have the prayer level for every prayer in the spell book. Quite a nice level, considering I've only pretty much buried big bones. It would be really cool if we can get level 80 in this chunk. Quick totem update 25 dark totems banked right now. Beautiful stack so far. Before we continue, I want to give a huge shout out to Ironside. They recently hooked me up with a new computer and this thing is an absolute beast. They gave it some cool customization, putting my Karamja profile picture and RuneScape map on a case, which looks absolutely amazing. And ever since I've been using this computer, I've been able to record in higher quality and edit a lot faster. So hopefully you guys are going to like that. Ironside makes unique and badass PCs. Look at this one, for example, the Ancient Stones. Um, this one looks like a artsy and animated PC. Really cool look. They test computers 48 hours before shipping to make sure everything works well. And you can pick your own parts, customizer. Um, you can go through these different steps and set up your computer to your liking. Many different options to choose from. They are a company that gives a damn no industry garbage like minimum wage builders or cheaping out on sourcing their components. I think a lot of you guys have heard about them by now. Ironside has supported over a dozen of RuneScape content creators. And I can now finally play my 10 unique Iron Man accounts at the same time, thanks to Ironside. So yeah, if you're interested, the website is down below. If you want your own, they build it for you and send it to your door. So the last episode I talked about this a little bit, but I started killing brutal red dragons. I found the optimal method to kill them and it's basically brute forcing them. I pre-pot in the bank, bring a full inventory of foods. And I kill them with magic protect, staying out of melee distance, walking back and forth. And this way I only get hit by the normal dragon fire attack, which hits a max of 10. Now it is still really terrible to kill them this way. I can do like usually 3 or 4 kills per trip. And the reason I have to kill these is because they drop the best in slot range equipment in my chunk. They drop a red dehyde body 
with a drop rate of 1 in 64 and red d-eyed vamps with a drop rate of 1 in 128 so pretty tough but with enough food and potions i should be able to do this i'm doing a few trips a day just trying my luck every time i have potions and uh yeah we should eventually get these items oh look what we got there the red dehyde body one of the two items i need i currently have 40 kill count so a little bit under drop rate very happy to see that the trips paid off we still need the uh rares item left but um that is progress guys these things are so tough to kill getting two rare drops in one hill giant kill it does sometimes happen Ancient Sharper's Giant Key. That's like 1 in 400 and 1 in 128. In one drop. Beautiful. Use that on Slayer. 80 XP for level 9. So 6 more to go and I can kill Banshees. Another big level 96 attack. 3 levels to go and we are max attack and strength. It finally happened guys. Full Dark Totem in one hill giant trip um these trips are not like super long but look at the chat middle top base that is beautiful first time that happens in 85,000 kills i've had um i've almost had this happen like three times i believe but um yeah beautiful we are very close to 30 dark totems in the bank now awesome wow that is absolutely insane. This stream of totem RNG is just... that. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on. But look at that. That's like five totem pieces in like less than 10 minutes. That's the craziest luck I've had so far. That's absolutely insane. I think that's almost three full totems today. Wow. No way. That's a duplicate body. Ooh, man, I want to be done with this place. Um, there's another red di body. We have two bodies now, no vamps. But we aren't at the drop rate yet for the vamp bracers, so we'll keep trying. We'll keep trying, guys. Holy shit, 30 dark totems in the bank. The hill giant grind is paying off. I cannot wait to do all of these dark totems later. That is looking crazy. Subscribe. Or else my mom doesn't refresh my membership. Did not miss the level this time. 96 hit points. I love to see these levels. It is crazy to get these high stats from just killing hill giants. But um, spend enough time in one place and uh, you get results guys. We are very close to 90,000 hill giant kills. So final stretch. And then we are going to do all of the dark totems. A uh, long bone and a giant key in the same kill. That's how rare. One in 400, one in 128. Beautiful. Always love to see those double like purple uh, drops in one one single hill giant drop. And that's also pretty uh, special. Three long bones pretty much at the start of the trip. Pretty crazy. Another crazy level. 97 attack. Two levels away from 99. And I think we will just barely get one more level before we finish the hill giant goal. And just like that, after 97 attack, we pretty much get a back-to-back -to -back totem piece drop. Instantly rewarded. Definitely my favorite drop at Hill Giant. So satisfying to see all these uh, totem pieces. Alright, so we just hit the cap on Longbones in the collection lock. In the last episode, we uh, had this happen with the Giant Keys after getting 250. And this time it's long bones. So I have got over 250. Which means the collection lock will stop tracking the long bone drops. I have spent way too much time at hill giants. I guess if this isn't a sign then I don't know. But we are almost done. Just hit a uh, pretty cool milestone. 700 giant keys. Um, that is a lot of keys. Um, we, we are going to have a field day at Obor in uh, like two years from now. Cool. Level 78 prayer and we are super close to 120 combat. Amazing. Ooh, not what I expected, but got a totem piece from Red Dragons. 
That's pretty rare, but I'll take that. Still hunting for the fan bracers. Still lamping Slayer, and there's a pretty nice milestone. Double digits, 10 Slayer. Five levels to go. What a beautiful looking drop on the floor. Dragon Plate Lex, that is my first uh, dupe. So I got two Dragon Plate Lex in the bank right now. No way, I just got a Dragon Dagger and an Ancient Shard in the same drop. The Dragon Dagger is the same rarity as the Van Bracers, and the Ancient Shard is pretty rare as well i mean i think that drop together is probably like as rare if not a lot rare than the uh, visage drop that is crazy ancient shard milestone 500 in the bank getting close to that 200,000 arc light charges i bet a lot of you guys are looking at this thinking give me all those shards i need those arc light charges you can do anything with that Yes, red eyed vamps. Oh, what a grind. How many kills did I have to do? Um, 178, which is exactly 50 kills above drop rate, which is not, not terrible. But um, these dragons are so tough to kill. You have no idea. Uh, wow. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm happy to be done with this. Very happy. We can move on to uh, finishing the hill giant grind. And we are... Basically completely prepped for Seracnus now. Like that's my best in slot gear completed if I get 60 range. So let's go. Another Slayer level. 11 Slayer. Making some nice progress. We're getting some decent RNG with the uh, XP randoms lately. Level 98 attack. One away from the second 99. And we are a few 1000 hill giants away from finishing the goal. So unfortunately we will not get 99. But we will get pretty close. So we can finish it on something else later on. But this is massive for the account. Almost best DPS for pretty much everything else left in the chunk. Which is going to help out a lot. And yeah we are almost ready to start the Scotiso session. Level 12 farming. With this totem, we have now 40 totems in the bank. 40 dark totems. That is so many from just killing hill giants. Um, I cannot wait to do all of these. We are almost ready. The final kill for 100,000 hill giants. My, f I think the first time I've killed 100,000 of one NPC. That's that has a bit of hit points. Like you know. 35 hit points per NPC. This is it. This kill right here. 100,000 hill giants. That is a lot. The hill giant era is over. For now. For now. There it is. Oh my god. The 100 hill... The, the 100 big bones in the loot tab. That looks so cool. The final results... We have 750, no, 756 keys, 519 ancient shards, two, almost 280 long bones, 40 and a little bit totems, but we might get more before Saturday. And then we have some big stacks here. 4,084 and sold giant hats, which is like 2.5 mil prey XP. Over 1,000 sapphires. Like, we got a lot of these from hill giants. How many did we get from hill giants? Let's see. We got 546 from hill giants. Wow. 39k fire runes. 38k water runes. And then we have some of these that I will be using soon. Uh, I, really, I really want to know what range level can we get with these arrows and runes. And, like, knives. With 40 range start. And we have the uh, red deer body and, uh, like... Vems now. So what level will that get me? I'm really curious. I think like 70 plus, surely. 9,080 limps. I mean, look at the herbs. That's pretty crazy. 19 mystery boxes. We're saving those up before when we end when we leave the chunk. Uh, anything else notable here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, buddy talisman. Almost 500, but I didn't pick up all of them. I left a lot. There weren't really worth my inventory space and yeah that's pretty much the results of hill giants these supplies are going to be super helpful in the future but i will definitely get a lot of magic and range levels and yeah we can do 40 scortizo kills if you guys have any like questions about this uh hill giant milestone let me know down below 
I do read every comment, so... And yeah, let's prepare for Scotizo. There is another Dragon Plate skirt. A number two on the account right now. I have two Plate Legs and two Plate Skirts. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm just gonna collect these, I think. I don't really need to hire them, so... Yeah, just gonna add that to the collection in the bank for some uh, extra bank value. Getting some attack potions right now. Uh, pretty close to finishing and then I can do uh, Scotizo. And there is another pair of Dragon Plate Legs. Starting to get a nice uh, collection in the bank. Decided to uh, kill some Iron Dragons for the Super Strength Potions. Because that will speed up the Scotizo kills as well. Level 79 prayer, beautiful. Only one level away from my goal level in this chunk. We uh, we should be able to get that. It is time to uh, start all my dark totems. 40 dark totems to do. I forgot to record a couple kills, but we are at 70 kill count right now. We got a couple torstal drops, some rune drops, and we got an anglerfish drop. So let's see uh, what we're going to get from all of these guys. Lot of totems in the bank. We finally got something interesting. 10 Unca Dragonstones, which is a 1 in 111 drop rate. That is the first Dragonstones on the account. I cannot train crafting yet, but that is a really cool drop to see. Um, overall, the Scotizo lock isn't that great so far. We still don't have a Dark Claw, which is only 1 in 25. So we still have a little bit over 10 totems to go. But uh, aren't these pretty rough so far? There it is. What a beautiful milestone. 100 Scotizo kills on the account. Every kill takes around 15 to 20 minutes. I am speeding up all these kills because they, they take forever. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess it happened guys. We are four times the dry streak on a Dark Claw, which is just kind of ridiculous. Um, no, uh, no YouTuber luck on the, on this grind, guys. No YouTuber luck. This account has been pretty lucky so far, but um, I guess it had to end somewhere. Unfortunately, it is at the most time-consuming boss in this chunk. But uh, we don't give up. Let's continue with the uh, last few totems. And that's it, the final totem. We did not get anything new, which is a little painful. Um, the game is testing me. Um, I guess uh, it's not the end of the Scotizo uh, journey. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that we didn't get the Dark Claw because we still need the Dark Totem, which is a lot rare. And we only need one of each. 
So um, we will be getting quite a few more passive totems over the next weeks. And I will be doing all those totems. So hopefully we get lucky with that. But with my new obtained stats from Hill Giants. I think it's time for the new chapter guys. We are going to finish Seracnus. My new goal is to finish the Seracnus pet and jar. I've already started working on dragons a bit as you saw in this video and one of the items I'm working on while doing Seracnus is going to be the visage drop. So hopefully we finish both of these goals around the same time. And after this we will return to Scotizo to get the final drops and roll a new chunk guys. I cannot wait. Make sure you guys subscribe you do not want to miss the next episode and I wish you all a great day.